Hello everyone, how are you? I am Akrash, your teacher here, and I will teach you different questions and their answers. So I welcome you on ClassTheta.com. So our today's question is: Thomas Friedman argues that the world is flat. He claims that globalization has flattened the world over the years, and it will continue to do so. On the contrary, Pankaj Dimavat argues that actually the world is not flat. What does Thomas Friedman mean globalization and when he says the world is flat provide an explanation and examples according to the speaker Pankaj Ghimawath what is globalization and what factors prevent globalization from being flat how globalized are we what are some assumptions we make about the globalization that are untrue why is it important to the accurate in making assumptions about globalization? Give examples. In your opinion, does globalization make the world flat between the two authors' argument? What does find more compelling and why at least three to five sentences for each question? And the answer of the question is, what does Thomas Friedman mean by globalization and when he says the world is flat, provide explanation and examples. Thomas Friedman argues that globalization has made the world interconnected and interdependent, breaking down barriers between countries, companies and individuals. When he says the world is flat, he means that technology and globalization have leveled the playing field allowing individuals and businesses worldwide to compete on an equal footing for example advancement in technology particularly the internet have enabled outsourcing of showing and the rise of multinational corporations like amazon and google which can operate seamlessly across borders second according to the speaker pankaj gamawat what is globalization and what factor prevent globalization from being flat how globalized are we what are some assumptions we make about globalization that are untrue what is it important to be accurate in making assumptions about globalization give examples pangas gimawat argues that while globalization has indeed increased connectivity it has not made the world completely flat he emphasizes that geographic cultural political and economic differences still exist and affect global interactions factor such as government regulations cultural differences language barriers and varying consumer preferences prevent globalization from being truly flat we often assume that globalization has led to homogenized world when everyone and everything is the same however this overlooks the diversity and uniqueness of different culture and market it is essential to be accurate in our assumptions about the globalization because misunderstanding its impact can lead to misinformed decisions in business politics and social interactions for example assuming that everyone prefer the simple products of services can lead to failed marketing strategies or business ventures in different regions third in your opinion does globalization make world flat between the two authors whose argument do you find more compelling and why in my opinion globalization has certainly increased interconnectedness and leveled the playing field in many ways but it has not made the world completely flat i find pankaj kemawath arguments more compelling because it acknowledges that while globalization has reduced some barriers significant differences and inequalities still exist between countries and regions kemawath's perspective emphasizes the importance of recognizing and understanding these differences to navigate the complexities of the global economy successfully thank you for watching the video if you have any question related to this video please post a comment below
If you have any question in your mind, you can also post on the website and I will be answering you in the next video. Thank you for engaging with us. Until next video, bye bye.